Hello everybody and welcome to the latest Garage Gamers. I am Ice Cube. I'm Zorbs. And we are here to bring you the latest episode which is going to be on remasters. 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 So many. Everywhere. Look so, so many. Remasters. you got to hold this because we got too many <laughs> remasters. Re. Ma. <laughs> There's so many stars. can't even do it all at once. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Remasters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was the latest one too. Yeah, yep, yeah, uh, Resident Evil something. And there's more version. than this as well. Yeah, there's plenty more. These are just my ones. And ironically, um, these are just the remasters I like. Uh, but there's plenty of remasters that I don't like and they're coming out whether we like it or not. So we're going to have a little talk about them, uh, let you know what we think about them, and you can let us know what you think about remasters as well. Are they a good thing? Are they a bad thing? Is there too much? Are there too few? Just let us know in the comment section below. So, uh, well, the reason why we're talking about remasters is because uh, Heavy Rain is here, or coming out soon, depending on when we upload this video to YouTube. <laughs> when you watch. <laughs> and uh, we thought it would be a relevant topic to talk about. Yes. So, what's your initial impression, Zorbs, of remasters? I like them. Good, and that's Sweet it for our show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting these down. Yeah. Before we drop them. Yeah. Uh, so, you like them. Why, like why them. do you like them? Um... Well, in the case of, for example, the latest one, I'm just going to drop this straight away. Uh, Heavy Rain's coming out, and as a remaster on PS4, I've never played it. One really? of the most popular games uh, of the PS3 generation, yeah. and I've never yeah. played it. Some people hated it, though. You may hate well, it. Well, you know, some people hate it. But, um, <laughs> I feel like it's one of those games that I need to play, and I can't be bothered plugging my PS3 and then tracking down a copy of it. I'll just get it on PS4. Did you play uh, Beyond Two Souls? No, I didn't play that either. Uh, um, but uh, so that you're one, in for an experience. But that one was apparently bad. <laughs> Whereas Heavy Rain, everyone's no, like, oh, it's so much better. I don't know. I'm, I'm the other way around. I actually prefer Beyond Two, Th Beyond Two Souls. Well, they're coming out together in a collection. Yeah, so you can let us know after you've played both of them. Oh, God. Remaster. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Get yeah, like, why not? Like, if I had a choice of a remaster that's there, or the PS3 version, one's, you know, just touched up enough to make it feel a bit better, a bit smoother, they can fix sort of little glitches and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, true. Uh, but do you feel like, do you feel like there's too many of them? Uh, not really, because I feel like it's not really detracting from uh, any of the new games that they're working on, because I've... It probably isn't as easy as this, but it sort of seems like it's just a cut and paste. Like, here's the game, let's just put it in there, give it a quick filter overhaul and release. Some of them kind of, kind of are. Like, some of them, yeah. like they say, you kind of presume, oh, they're going to upscale the graphics and it's going to look well. But then they bring it out and it looks exactly like yeah. the one before. So it looks like what you yeah, remember really real it looking like. Yeah, yeah. But then you go back and play the old one and it actually looks like pixelated crap. Yeah, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, I kind of find myself that uh, I, th I think there's probably a little bit too much going on. I think it's kind of used as like a space filler between the big games that they're releasing these days. I'm not sure if I mind it so much because I think the majority of the remasters that have come out I've actually enjoyed. They've actually yeah. been games that I like. Like, uh, I mean, what do we have there? The Last of Us, uh, the, the Tomb Raider, Resident Evil, one. Resident Evil. So, and, and even DMC, like, I mean, some people didn't like that, but I, love that I think game. they're crazy because it was awesome. And um, they up that from 30 frames to 60, so it just makes it even more intense when you're fighting. Yeah, so, I, I, you know, as long as I keep doing it for games that are worthy of yeah. a remaster, then I'm, I'm fine. I, I do still think it's a bit too much. I think they're kind of leaning a little too much on it, to be honest. I think, I think those resources could probably be better spent on getting the big games they're working on out the door faster. But he, um, here's one thing I'll say. Is there ever too many video games? Is that, is that yeah, even Yeah, but when you start seeing the same game really re-released, like, I mean, some of the re-releases, I think the epitome of re-releases has got to be Borderlands 2. Bless Borderlands 2, mm. I love that game. Yeah. But, my God, like, the, the, the amount of times that I had to repurchase the, the definitive, <laughs> the definitive, definitive option, yeah. it's just ridiculous. And I think they finally have stopped. to do that. Yeah, but, you know, I like to get, like, the kind of... When there's a game I like, I like to have the complete edition, so yeah. I know that it's all there. It's, uh, you know, not missing out on anything. Yeah, you know, like the Game of the Year editions. Yeah, and... but the, I think they had about 25 Game of the Year editions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, every time you think you got the final one, there's, like, another and here's one. here's the Vita one! <laughs> like, oh, God, yeah, so... Yeah, I, I think it's a little bit too much, but... Yeah, um... What, what else has come out? I mean, th there's been... 
Uh, well, the so, Uncharted collection was a good one. Yeah, um, actually. That's, although it, that's it, one I don't have. I've got to get that in my, my remastered collection. <laughs> yeah, I don't like them, but I'm going to get them. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> um, that one was a bit... It was a bit bare bones in, ter in, yeah, in terms of extra features. I like when, say for example, the Mega Man Legacy collection that you oh, played. Yeah. You get these old games, but then they've got all the... Didn't that have like a, a little suite telling you about the games and like artwork little and bonus, stuff like that? Yeah, little bonus I like that, stuff. you know, just yeah. something extra in there. Um, whereas Uncharted was, there's the three games, play them. They up res the, the graphics, they update it to 1080p, they up the frame rate. Yeah. Those things are great and it does, they still look amazing on PS4. Mm. Um, but I feel like, you know, give us a bit more of extra things. Even if, even, it's like DVDs, you know, it's like, oh, look at all the special features. Never going to watch them. Yeah. But they're there. <laughs> it's like having them, yeah. I, I think the, the game to best execute um, bonus features when it comes to a remaster, uh, Rare Replay that came out yes. on the Xbox One. That was amazing. Um, did you see the presentation? Oh, that yeah. They did? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was special. It was very special. They, they, it's like they were proud when they made that and game. And half of the people that work for Rare now didn't even make those games. That, that's exactly right. And you know what? About half the games they put on Rare Play, they Rare Replay, they should not have been proud because <laughs> yeah, they, they were awful. Terrible. E even for their time, they were awful. Yet we still got the chance to replay that awfulness many yeah. years later. But some of them were great, you know, like Battletoads. And Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, Banjo Tooie. So Perfect Dark and Conker's Bad Fur Day. Yeah, so they got they got a good little library there. So you know, that's like, I suppose it's worthwhile. Maybe maybe my negativity is a little bit wrong. I think I think where it becomes an issue is it's it's better when it's a collection. So for example, of we showed before, uh, some of those PS3 collections were the Prince of Persia trilogy yeah. or the Tomb Raider trilogy. I think when it's remasters or remakes or whatever it is in a package together you get more for your more bang for your buck yeah um, but ask yourself this when you've got one of those trilogy packs how many of us actually remove the seal <laughs> <laughs> i <laughs> actually, do i go and back actually and play them, them again because if you remember the games we held up at the start they're all wrapped in shrink wrap they're, they're all <laughs> his they're not mine mine i actually played it's just i buy it for the love and the respect yeah. well i, 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 I don't i, I don't actually too. play like i i think one day when i'm retired and that's, got, that's the goal. <laughs> that, that, that I've got all my consoles set up in my old man cave. And then you go to turn the console off and it doesn't work yeah, anymore because it's been so long. I know, but at least they're all in shrink wrap looking all shiny. Yeah. Dust covered but shiny. Yeah, I'm a bit of a hoarder. I like having all my collection on display. Yeah, yeah as you can see m myself as well. We're definitely not ready for the digital age. No, no. I want physical. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah. Keep up the physical releases, but that's a whole different topic. Yeah, um, but in terms of uh, in terms of remasters, is there anything you'd like to add? It's uh, I think we've pretty much stated our case. Yeah, I, I enjoy them uh, as long as it's not a fa like. Okay, Capcom is a bit of an issue where it's like here's Devil May Cry, here's Resident Evil. It's like where's your new games? It worries me. It does because I'm thinking maybe is it taking time out of. Uh, you know, basically their new games coming out. So I wish companies would be a bit more upfront with it, saying, we're working on this, but here's a nice treat for you while you're waiting for it, basically. You know, well, that's just, kind of what they're doing, but without putting the, the words out. If yeah, you think but, about but, it. But put the words out. <laughs> because a lot of people, you go online, everyone's like, oh, god damn, another collection? Oh, far out. And they think that it's like, okay, uh... What about Kingdom Hearts? That's a good example. Kingdom Hearts 3. No idea when that's coming out, but we've had yeah. Kingdom Hearts 1.5, yeah. 2.5. 2.6, 2.7. Yeah, there's like a 2.8 or 9 coming out now. Oh, is there? Cool. Yeah, which has the 3DS version and the PSP version. It's like, when's 3 coming out? Yeah. So I guess the argument is, are those detracting from the time that they're taking to make the new one, or isn't it? And people just want an answer. Just, just tell yeah, us. Yeah, you got to, you got to wonder. I mean, there's got to be some development issues with with coming up with sequels. Perhaps. I mean, you could you could say the same thing about the Saints Row, where where, where Saints Row is at right now. I mean, there's yeah, the, remastering those as well. Yeah, I mean, and they, they turn an expansion into a sequel. Like they kind <laughs> of do the opposite thing. It's, uh, it's it's a mess. But... That was a bad example. That one, like that. That's. That was a remaster that I was like, no, because it was so soon as well. Like I just finished it, yeah. And they're like, here's the PS4 one. Yeah. Like I just played that on PC recently. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And you can argue like even I mean the, the 
the Tomb Raider one, uh, in fact Tomb Raider and a lot of those Sony ones like Last of Us, they were just at the tail end of the last generation and then they're already here remastered for the next generation. Um, yeah. It looks slightly better, but is it is it worth yeah. buying a second time? Is it worth playing a second I, time? I don't think those ones are necessarily made for us. I think those ones were necessarily made for those people who had just got a PS4, didn't own a PS3, and then thought, oh, what's this game? It's been rated really well and stuff. Although it kind of makes you think, like, if the first game you play is a remaster and you're like, huh, these graphics aren't all they're cracked out to be, you know, because you're basically playing a, a PlayStation 3 game. Yeah, and it just becomes more noticeable when that game happened to be like a PS1 game originally, <laughs> and now you're playing it on PS4. Yeah, yeah. but, but there, you know, there's pros and cons, I think, for all of them. I think, for me, I prefer when they're a bit more of a collection, like Rare Replay, um... Or even the Gears of War remake, I, I do definitely course, prefer yeah. a remake where they've overhauled the whole graphics. Um, yeah, you know, they, they made even good the Halo tweaks. anniversary one as well. They, they yeah, really they that. did that from scratch. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm not a Halo fan, yeah. but the amount of work that went into that was pretty impressive. Yeah, I, I wish they'd actually do that kind of remake a bit more often. Yeah, uh, just patching those real nostalgia games, but the decent ones, not Halo. Forget that. But just the, <laughs> the decent, really good ones, and and. Uh, like, for example, the original Silent Hill on PS1. If you could redo that so that the people of today's generation could get stuck into that, would be just epic. It would be so good. But then, then it goes back to the theory of that would detract from new games coming out because you basically have to start from scratch. New engine, new character models. You, you, you. So let, but let's ask ourselves, who would be doing that remaster? Konami. What else is Konami doing? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so get on with it, Konami. <laughs> Pro Evolution, Soccer, 20,000. Like. Yeah, they, they, could, they could redeem a little bit of that Hideo Kojima controversy by doing the Silent Hill 1 remaster. They could just be real jerks and release every single Metal Gear Solid game as a remaster. Well, they, Not... they, they re-released them all on the PS3 under, under the radar. Yeah, but they could just be jerks and release them on PS4 individual. So you're paying one by one by one. It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, um, that's our wrap-up of Remastered Games. So I hope you enjoyed our conversation today. Uh, let I us know am, what you think. I'm Ice Cube. This is Zorbs. Um, yeah, please do let us know what you think. Write in the comments below. Uh, like us, subscribe too if you want to see more. This is a weekly segment. We're going to get it out to you on a regular basis. And we're going to even try to stay on topic. Yes. Which would be quite amazing. Uh, <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for not hitting the stop or pause or... X button at the top of the screen. Like and subscribe. And we will see you hopefully next week. Bye. Bye.